r slash ask credit what is the most unusual bible verse if two men are fighting and the wife of one of them comes to rescue her husband from his assailant and she reaches out and seizes him by his private parts you shall cut off her hand show her no pity Dut 25 to 11 minus 12. genesis chapter 27 verse 11 is my favorite my brother esau is a hairy man but i am a smooth man the king desireth not any dowry but a hundred foreskins of the philistines yeah that was messed up although pretty sure the point of that was to deter david from trying to marry his daughter I'd say mission accomplished. Except David came back with 200 Philistine foreskins. Judges chapter 15 verse 16. And he found a new jawbone of a donkey, and put forth his hand, and took it, and slew a thousand men therewith. Dude, Samson was a ducking beast. There should definitely be a movie made about him. I dunno if it's the most unusual, but I always liked the fact that Numbers chapter 12 verse 3, written by Moses, says, Now Moses was a very humble man, more humble than anyone else on the face of the earth. I also love how John referred to himself as the disciple whom Jesus loved, and also specifically mentions that he was faster than Peter and beat him to the empty tomb. John chapter 20 verses 3 to 4. Reads like a Trump tweet. That Pharaoh total loser do nothing pharaoh what a dummy god is saying this it's true i gave him the best deal folks let my people go easy done but did he no so god gave him these plagues big beautiful plagues perfect and his people are angry and the other empires are laughing at him he's a laughing stock it's true total loser let me tell you Folks, when I part the sea, nobody is going to part the seas like me. Those walls of water will be a hundred feet high. A thousand. You're going to say, Oh Moses, nobody got us out of Egypt like you. Thank you. Thank you. And let me tell you folks, once we're out of Egypt, we're gonna keep on winning. For thousands of years, Jews are going to be tired of all this winning. Edit. Gold. For losers total Canaanite move. We're not stopping at gold. Folks, believe me, we're not stopping until everyone has platinum coming out of their you know what. You're asking. But Moses, gold is so valuable. It can buy so many camels. But they're saying camels are out of style. Camels are finished. God thinks so. He told me last week. He said, Moses, remember your commandments. Thou shall not, shall not. Well, there are a lot of commandments, aren't there? Folks, am I right? Just trust me. Trust Moses. We're going to take this sermon all the way to platinum. Write this down in the Bible. Beautiful Bible. Platinum trim. Biggest Bible. Going to make the Babylonian laws look like garbage. Babylonians. Total losers. Build a tiny wall couldn't keep the Assyrians out. And now look. Babylon. Boom. Bang. Gone nasty people gave us bad deals so so bad but we're winning now folks a few years wandering the desert and then bing bang boom back in israel land of milk and honey maybe we should call it moses land build a big tower bigger than the tower of babylon loser tower nasty people and put moses in big platinum letters so send in your platinum folks or the skeleton with the trumpet that goes doot, doot, doot. Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 26. You engaged in prostitution with the Egyptians, your neighbors with large genitals, and aroused my anger with your increasing promiscuity. The story this verse as a part of fits well with the whole biblical narrative. But why that extra detail about the Egyptians? Ezekiel chapter 23 verse 20. There she lusted after her lovers, whose genitals were like those of donkeys and whose emission was like that of horses. I remember my friends and I stumbling upon this in Sunday school. It was a good day. Song of Songs 4 to 5. Your breasts are like two fawns, like twin fawns of a gazelle that browse among the lilies. 
My fave is the very end of Jonah. Jonah is in the desert but found a tiny tree with a gourd to give him shade. After a bit, the gourd shriveled and dies. And Jonah must suffer in the sun again. Jonah cusses out the gourd. Right then God came down to Jonah and chastised him good. Jonah, that gourd existed by no labor of your own. He said to Jacob, let me eat some of that red stuff. Because I'm exhausted. Genesis chapter 25 verse 30. Something about the way this is worded makes it seem strange. He that blesseth his friend with a loud voice, rising early in the morning, it shall be counted a curse to him. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 14. If a man beats his male or female slave with a rod and the slave dies as a direct result, he must be punished. But he is not to be punished if the slave gets up after a day or two. Since the slave is his property, Exodus chapter 21 verses 20 to 21. He turned around, looked at them and called down a curse on them in the name of the Lord. Then two bears came out of the woods and mauled 42 of the boys. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 19. A feast is made for laughter. Wine makes life merry, and money is the answer for everything. In the NIV translation, it says, but money is the answer to everything, implying that while food and drink are fun, you gotta get out and work for that dollar bill. That's all folks, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please help the channel by smashing the like button and subscribing for more daily content.